There's a fascinating history behind a lot of dishes, and there's a wildness and romance behind the origins of a modern favourite, kleftiko. The name comes from kleftes, members of the Greek resistance who fought the Turks in the 19th century. Concealed in hillside hideouts, they cooked their lamb in the hot embers of an underground fire, loosely covered with soil, so that the smell of cooking meat and smoke wouldn't give them away. Nowadays, kleftiko is cooked in traditional clay ovens, but I'm going to show you an easy way to cook it on the barbie. First, take some lamb, cut into chunks and place into a large bowl. Pour over some delicious Greek olive oil and squeeze in the juice of one small lemon. Finally, chop some fresh oregano and thyme and sprinkle liberally onto your meat. Next, add some crushed garlic and give it a good old stir. And finally, a generous seasoning of salt and freshly ground black pepper. And, if you have the time, allow it to marinate for an hour or two. Place a portion of the meat on a large square of extra thick foil. Sprinkle on some chopped fresh tomatoes, seeded and skinned. And top with a slice or two of kefaloteri cheese. The pecorino is a good substitute, or if you like, an English goat's cheddar. Finish with a bay leaf, scrunch your foil to seal your parcels and place directly onto medium hot coals for about 40 minutes. When your parcels are nearly ready, score some pita bread and grill until golden brown up both sides. Spoon over some melted garlic and parsley butter and briefly warm through for a minute or so. Then slice into fingers and serve with your kleftico parcels. Absolutely delicious. And to follow, here's an utterly scrumptious idea for a pud using figs, honey, Greek yogurt, and almonds. When your figs are juicy and tender after about 15 minutes, spoon over some creamy Greek yogurt and sprinkle over the toasted almonds and serve immediately. Mm. 